concepts what is linear motion what is linear motion what is non linear motion so we'll cover one and two right now okay we'll just understand what linear motion is and what non linear motion is and then get to distance okay welcome to hdtvedu.com direct and simple education in seconds you watch you play you pause you learn these dots do not mean much to you right now hey this is what we do in physics we kind of take situations real life situations and then study those real life situations based on dots and lines so you are here to study physics with me it's going to be a while before i complete all these lectures but hang in there with me there will not be one particular formula that you can learn from one chapter that will fit all situations for each situation you have to apply based on information that is available so if i have an advice for you my advice will be to first go through every one of the lectures that i have on youtube look at the content you will get help you will succeed i will make you comfortable to read the textbook so what is linear motion what is linear motion when you think about linear motion imagine a string linear motion is one dimensional motion linear motion is one dimensional motion you can go left you can go right it's one dimensional so you have to be along x assuming x is the horizontal you can go up you can go down you can increase the speed you can decrease the speed you can accelerate we'll get to all those definitions later you can change your position it's all linear motion here you see those poles those poles are equal distances apart think of motion along a straight line you can go to the right to the left you can think of motion as a straight line you can go vertically up vertically down to the east to the west north south straight line up and down those are all linear motion motion in one dimension is called linear motion the path the path traced by a moving object is a straight line you can come down an inclined plane you can come down the hill at constant speed or at whatever speed that you like let's assume that is the x direction let us assume that these are distances covered in 1 second so from here to here is 1 second from here from here to here is the next second and from here to here is the next second you see that you cover more distance for the same unit time speed is increasing so we'll get to all these later but for the time being think of it as linear motion whenever you drop a piece of paper let's assume that it is coming down at constant speed you cover equal distances in equal intervals of time that is linear motion whenever we kick an object at an angle that is non linear motion if you have an electron moving between parallel plates charged parallel plates then you know that the negative electron is attracted by the positive plate and the electron is going to make a curve electron is going to be on a curved path this is non linear motion imagine a tall building a ball dropped from the top floor as it moves down along the vertical that is linear motion electrons electrons going undeflected in between two charged parallel plates that 
is linear motion. The motion of the mass as it is pulled to the side. That is linear motion. The motion of the masses as it goes around a pulley up and down. That is linear motion. An unwinding mass coming down vertically. So if the mass moves down vertically, the motion of the mass is linear motion. Raindrops, you know, come down at constant speed. So raindrops falling vertically down at constant speed, that is linear motion. The motion of the spring, as it oscillates up and down, that is linear motion. The horizontal oscillation of a mass attached to a spring as it slides from left to right and back, that is linear motion. If you, if you keep the mass on an inclined plane and as the mass oscillates, if you trace the path of the mass, it is on a straight line, that is linear motion. The motion of elevator traced will be on a straight line path. The vertical motion of a steel ball as it is dropped from the top of a lake, as it falls vertically down, that is linear motion. A ball is kicked horizontally from a height. Ignore friction. As it slides to the right, let's assume that it slides to the right and then it falls off the edge. That is not linear motion. I repeat, that is not linear motion. As it falls, it has horizontal and vertical changes in the position. The path of the ball as it falls off the edge is not linear motion. A ball is kicked at an angle with respect to the horizontal from a height. That is not linear motion. This is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.